Nine best superfoods for diabetics. Every time you roll your shopping cart into the supermarket, you're making a decision that goes far beyond whether you're going to have pork or pierogies for dinner. You're actually choosing between being a victim and a victor. What you put in your cart goes a long way toward determining whether you'll be compromised by diabetes or start controlling and eventually even beating it. If this is your first time visiting us, click the red subscribe button for more videos. Dark chocolate. Chocolate is rich in flavonoids and research shows that these nutrients reduce insulin resistance, improve insulin sensitivity, drop insulin levels and fasting blood glucose and blunt cravings, but not all chocolate is created equal. Fish. Fish is a slimming star, rich in protein. It will help to keep you satisfied, but also fish contains a special type of fat that helps cool inflammation. Thousands of studies show that people with the highest blood levels of omega-3 fatty acids have less body-wide inflammation, the very inflammation that leads to and worsens diabetes and weight problems. Garlic. Garlic is a delicious herb with impressive health benefits. Several studies have shown that it can reduce inflammation, blood sugar, and LDL cholesterol in people with type 2 diabetes. It may also be very effective at reducing blood pressure. In one study, people with uncontrolled high blood pressure who took aged garlic for 12 weeks averaged a 10% decrease in blood pressure. One clove of raw garlic contains only 4 calories and 1 gram of carbs. Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt is a great dairy choice for diabetics. It's been shown to improve blood sugar control and reduce heart disease risk, perhaps partly due to the probiotics it contains. Studies have found that yogurt and other dairy foods may lead to weight loss and improve body composition in people with type 2 diabetes. It's believed that dairy's high calcium and conjugated lyonoic acid, CLA, content may play a role. Leafy greens. Leafy green vegetables are extremely nutritious and low in calories. They're also very low in digestible carbs, which raise your blood sugar levels. Spinach, kale, and other leafy greens are good sources of several vitamins and minerals, including vitamin C. In one study, increasing vitamin C intake reduced inflammatory markers and fasting blood sugar levels for people with type 2 diabetes or high blood pressure. In addition, leafy greens are good sources of the antioxidants lutein and zeaxanthin. These antioxidants protect your eyes from macular degeneration and cataracts, which are common diabetes complications. Chicken or turkey. These meats can be high fat disasters for perfectly healthy fare. It all depends on the cut and how it's prepared. Breast meat, whether ground or whole, is always lower in fat than dark meat, such as thighs and drumsticks. Never eat the skin because of its high saturated fat content. And when buying ground turkey, make sure the package says ground turkey breast. Otherwise, you may as well be eating hamburger. And need we remind you, the kernel is not your friend. Sweet potatoes. Choose a baked sweet potato instead of a baked white potato and your blood sugar will rise about 30% less. Sweet potatoes are packed with nutrients and disease-fighting fiber, almost 40% of which is the soluble kind that lowers cholesterol and slows digestion. They're also extra rich in carotenoids, orange and yellow pigments that play a role in helping the body respond to insulin. Avocado. Rich, creamy, and packed with beneficial monounsaturated fat, avocado slows digestion and helps keep blood sugar from spiking after a meal. A diet high in good fats may even help reverse insulin resistance, which translates to steadier blood sugar long term. Try putting mashed avocado on sandwiches instead of mayonnaise or on bread instead of butter. To keep what's left over from turning brown, Spritz the flesh with cooking spray or coat with lemon juice and wrap in plastic. Oatmeal. Ever wonder why oatmeal is so good for you? It's because it's loaded with soluble fiber, which when mixed with water forms a paste. Just as it sticks to your bowel, it also forms a gummy barrier between the digestive enzymes in your stomach and the starch molecules in your meal. So it takes longer for your body to convert the carbs you've eaten into blood sugar. Buy oat flour and use it as a thickener in autumn stews, casseroles, and soups. 
Every time you go to the store from now on, take this list with you and check off each item. In fact, if your favorite store has a delivery service, sign up for it so your supplies are automatically replenished every few weeks. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe for more videos.